Ever had a pet turtle or a tortoise? In fact, what's the difference? Depends really where you live. The Americans call a turtle anything that lives in water, fresh, or the sea, and a tortoise lives on the land. We call a tortoise something which lives in the water and has feet, or on land, which has feet, and a turtle for us is something that only has flippers and lives in the seawater. Either way, this by anyone's standards is a tortoise. It's a giant tortoise, and they're found in the Galapagos Islands and the Seychelles Islands. And it's uh, a tortoise by anyone's standards and giant by anyone's standards. Although this one is really only a baby. They are a very interesting group. Of course, they're reptiles, turtle, turtles and tortoises. And they're interesting not only because they're very old zoologically. They've been around, some of them, in unchanged form for about 150 million years. But also because most of them walk dragging their bodies on the ground between the legs. This one doesn't. He's well adapted for walking. He stands right up on these great big trunks of legs. You can see they're a bit like an elephant's foot, all spread out and around to take the weight of that enormous body. And it's uh, the more surprising, the size of it, because he's only a vegetarian. All he eats is vegetable matter, no fish or anything like that. And he eats a devil of a lot of it to uh, keep that great bulk going. No teeth, makes a bit of a mess of things. No teeth, just a big horny beak there. Well, they're uh, strange creatures and partly because we don't really know what their original distribution was. See, they may only eat vegetable matter, but they themselves were eaten and eaten by people. That doesn't look awfully appetizing to me and probably not to you either, but if you'd been a sailor on a sailing ship for two or three months eating nothing but corned beef and biscuit, that would have looked mighty appetizing. And a lot of them were eaten in the early days of exploration. And in fact, the sailors, to provide themselves with meat on future trips, used to pick them up, take them on board, and drop them off at other islands. And they bred there, and they were a source of food for the sailors whenever they moved around. So to this day, we're really not sure, certainly in the Seychelles, which islands originally had these things, and which islands had them put on there by the sailors of long ago.